वेलकम टू एवरी वन माई नेम इज हरी कृष्णा टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू इंटरव्यू अवर बिलो प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर बी रत्नराजू सर एंड अवर अकेडमिक ऑफ डायरेक्टर डॉक्टर वेंकट बर्ला सर नमस्ते सर नमस्ते आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क हाउ इज द मैनेजमेंट एंड विजन एंड द मिशन ऑफ द कॉलेज द मैनेजमेंट इज वेरी मच फोकस्ड अबाउट द प्रोग्राम्स इन द इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड द एक्टिविटीज इन द इंस्टीट्यूशन the vision of the management is education through employment so great meaning is hidden in its vision the education through employment in the sense the student who is studying a particular program must be mastered during his studies by employing this particular student in the industry concerned and improving the ideas of this particular student in that particular area say for example agricultural engineering so they want to improve the equipment or the trends in the aquaculture or padiculture or something else so the student will be employed in that particular area so he will be employed and he knows what are the problems in that particular area and being a real engineer he could offer the suggestions and he can sell his intellectual properties by fabricating in the form of a machines or something so that is the main vision of this management so in that perception we are modifying our teaching learning activities yes sir i just wish to know the advantage of having largest number of courses because some of college having few courses so that is the main uniqueness of our institution earlier the when the institution was started in the year 2008 we have started with the circuit branches but later because of the increasing demands in a particular areas and nearby areas so the branches are divert diversified so now apart from this mechanical engineering we started mining engineering apart from this uh, uh, civil engineering we started this pharmaceutical engineering and agricultural engineering and all these things because here lot of uh, agricultural range is being increased now there is no uh, sugar cane uh, crops or the <coughs> paddy crops now everybody is turning towards the aquaculture so which engineer will serve this so some food technologists or food specialists are doing some biology courses and they are acting as a supervisors for this aquaculture and all then what about the controlling and the machinery for this aquaculture so for that we have started this similarly this mining because many people are not looking into the diverse courses or the variety of courses they are always looking into the same circuit branches and all so to make them aware of all these programs we started this <clears throat> and finally we could acquire very good number of admissions in all the programs and many students are succeed in their courses and they good got good jobs also yes sir having number of courses is really beneficial to the college yeah so i would like to ask how are you ensuring the placements for rural area students uh, by like swam and nptel certification yeah yeah before that i'd like to go back to uh, our principal sir explanation which is done very well our society rajaratna health care and education society is a philanthropic organization it's a non profit organization so what happens is by having a largest number of uh, branches we are serving the society at a large scale we are serving the pharmaceutical industry we are serving the mining industry we are serving packaging industry mechanical civil and all that so your reach into the society is very wide that's what sir is trying to uh, tell so that way uh, our purpose of serving the society through education is fulfilled by having large number of courses and uh, secondly alumni network is very important because uh, education through employment is our goal so therefore unless you ensure employment education in the rural areas will not be so much of uh, useful to the students therefore we have built a strong network of alumni alumni means the, the previous students former students of the institution who are employed in uh, various institutions like uh, infosys wipro itc accenture and so on so what happens is when you have an uh, alumnus who is working in uh, uh, a company as head of a department and when that person comes and uh, conducts the campus placements for you and because he belongs to this college his own brothers and sisters are being interviewed therefore he'll have a better access to the people and his commitment to the organization is much better so we feel 
our uh, alumni are our ambassadors in the society. Therefore, to that extent, we are making a lot of efforts to build a very strong network of uh, alumni. Also, not only for employment, but also having a strong alumni network would also help the institution to grow in terms of infrastructure. Because alumni funds, there are a lot of alumni who would like to donate a laboratory to your alma mater. So what happens is that the funds will come and like institutions like IIT Bombay or IIT Delhi or NIT Warangal, they have been built by the funds of alumni in key areas. Therefore, in future, we would like to build up our alumni world over global. Our alumni are currently are there working all over the world in various countries also. Therefore, when we are able to connect with them, what happens is that you not only get employment to your students, but also you are getting funds to build your labs and uh, infrastructure. So that's a good question. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We heard that you have a time table for monthly events also. How does it help in academics? Sir? Yeah, it's a very good question, Narigeshna. But here, uh, we are working with the syllabus or the guidelines or the regulations issued by the JNTK Kakinada. So they will give the syllabus, an engineering graduate must study these subjects, these courses, and these are the contents, everything. But apart from that, Students must aware about the environmental or the, uh, the what they call it as international, uh, internationally renowned uh, organizations. So they must aware of all these things, and they must aware of the intellectual property rights. They must aware of the constitution or something, something, all these things. So they are there in the curriculum. But for that, a special exposure is required for them. So that is the reason. In that particular month, what are the famous or the renowned days can be celebrated by an engineering graduate. Say for example, International Intellectual Property Rights Day or Internet, um, uh, 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 what do you call Environmental Protection Day. So like this. So we train the students to make aware of all these issues. Even and the recently we conducted this uh, National Dewarming Day. That means the engineering graduate should focus on the health science also. So these are the our objectives. So, so that is the reason, and even we conducted this cancer awareness rally also. So apart from this engineering curriculum or their regular curriculum, students should aware of all these things. That is the main objective of that. That is why we design the events to be conducted in that particular month, other than their regular academic activities, and it should contribute the society also. So that is main objective of these particular events and the preparation of this event calendar. We all know that an engineering college must have non-academic programs like NSC, NCC, NSS. How does it help in students? NSS is a multidimensional again, because the student should aware of the societal activities. And nearby the college or nearby their native places, what are the problems identified in the rural areas? Because of the lack of awareness, many of the health issues are coming for the human beings. So, if you are aware of all these things, then many of the, these diseases can be eradicated and stopped. So, to inculcate these things in the minds, the students will work hard with the villagers or the surrounding uh, students and they will go to the nearby schools and the villages and they will give the awareness programs to them. Not only that, and they will go to the students and they will give the orientation about various scholarship programs available nationally and internationally and how to prepare for the competitive examinations, what are the opportunities after completion of this uh, high school or SSC and all, all these things will be done by the students voluntarily under this national service scheme. And of course, the physical fitness and uh, all these things are required for NCC, National Credit Corps, but we have already submitted a letter of intent for the nearby commandant office. We are waiting for the reply. If that is the case, then we can offer this NCC also for all of our students. Yes, sir. I would like to know you are planning one project per student every semester. How will you make it a success? Yeah, that's also a very good question, Hari. Thank you very much. Traditionally, we used to give project for students 
either at the end of the year, if it is MBA at the end of the first year, if it is B.Tech in third year, pharmacy third year and so on. By that, students were not getting much exposure in the industry. Today, the employment sector demands much more skills from a student than what is confined in the books. Therefore, what we are doing is we are uh, sending the students for projects every semester so that if it's an engineering, there are eight semesters. In eight semesters, if a student does eight projects, could it be mini project or small project, whatever it is, a practical hands-on experience. And if it is certified by any national body or any other institution, what happens is the confidence of the students gets boosted and skills or to a bag of skills is acquired by the student. Therefore, when he goes for employment, not only getting the job, but also being able to perform the job continuously, these skills will be very useful for his uh, career development. Therefore, we have started in our Rajaratna Kids Engineering College, Ramachandrapuram. We have started a scheme whereby a student has to do a project every semester. That's the purpose of it. It's a different experimentation than many other colleges, but we are highly successful. And uh, thanks to our faculty who are spearheading this, thanks to our students and management encouragement. Thanks.